You all are the blessedness of the Father. I appreciate you all. Amen and amen. To God be the glory. So I just want to bring this word because I know that there is such a move in the realm of the spirit where the Lord is making the first, last and the last first. This is where you're going to see the Father. He has begun basically to remove those who are in office in order to raise the new. Yes, the end of Saul, that David might come into, into power, into, thr into the throne that was promised unto him. So, I'm speaking on the account of the Archbishop of Canterbury, Archbishop uh, uh, Justin Welby. Yes, that is his name, the head of the Church of England. And it's for a long time, you know, you've allowed the policies of the government to infiltrate the body, which was not so right from the very beginning. Because in such a time as this, you cannot differentiate the church from the government. Because I have called you to be holy and to rule over my affairs, which means the church to pray for what? The government, not for the government to infiltrate it. As you can see, you have allowed, you have allowed profanity to enter into my temple and thereby you can see all the laws and the policies that has been introduced to the point that you're compromising my word you're teaching the sheep the wrong doctrine and thereby leading them into slavery you've allowed homosexuals to be in the sanctuary when i called you to be holy in order for they might be restored into what into the dimension of me i was looking to you to restore them but yet you have allowed them to continue to run in the way they're running to the point that it has already led to a whole lot of compromise in the body. And for that reason, the church has been divided under your rule and under your reign. And this is the hour that you're seeing the dimension of my glory revealed upon what I have spoken right before this moment on the church. So I have removed you from office and this is the hour that I'm taking the garments that is placed on you. I'm taking it off in order that I may place it on the one that I have chosen. My word is coming today from the book of Numbers chapter 20. It says the whole Israelite community set out from Kadesh and came to Mount Or. And at Mount Or, near the border of Edom, the Lord said to Moses and Aaron, Aaron will be gathered to his people. He will not enter the land I gave the Israelite because both of you have rebelled against my command at the waters of my Mer at the waters of Meribah. Get Aaron in and his son Eleazar and take them up Mount Or. Remove Aaron garment and put them on his son Eleazar for Aaron will be gathered to his people and it will die there. Moses did as the Lord commanded. They went up in up Mount Or in the sight of the whole community. Moses removed Aaron's garments and put them on his son Eleazar. And Aaron died at the top of the mountain. Then Moses and Eleazar came down from the mountain. So this is the hour you're going to begin to see it, that your garments are being removed in front of every person because of what you did. Because I have been calling you in the secret place to repent of your ways, but you have yet to pay attention to my instructions. And for that reason, because of the prayers of the saints that have come up to me as a memorial is why I have come down that I may cause a replacement to happen in the church of England. So this is the hour. Be prepared as I remove your garment from you that another might come in. And because those that have stood against what you stand for, they've come against you. They've warned you. They've told you this is wrong of my word. But rather than repent of your ways, you have decided to chase them out of the sanctuaries. Some of them you have removed from office in order to accommodate your sin and your compromise. And for that reason, enough is enough. So I release this in the dimension of the spirit right over you that this is the hour that your replacement has begun because it has been ordained in heaven. In Jesus name, amen and amen. So I release this word to the glory of God because I know that, you know, we continue to pray for the Archbishop because you know why? God loves the Archbishop. God loves him so very much. So let's continue to pray for him. It's not that, you know, the Lord didn't say he's going to die. No, not at all. He's just removing him. The garments are being taken off. His reign has come to an end so that another person can come and then begin to speak the right words to the people that they might be set free from what you 
Archbishop Justin Welby have basically enslaved them with. The freedom has come upon the people. It is time. It is for freedom that what? Christ came to set us free. We are no longer yoked to slavery in Jesus' name. So let us continue to pray for him. So Father, I just release your mercy over Archbishop Justin Welby. I release your mercy from the dimension of the word that says your mercy triumphs over every judgment. So I release your mercy over him that for what Whatever it is that is happening in this hour, that your mercy will prevail. Because I know you have already established your word, which will not return to you void. But I ask that your mercy prevail. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you all. I love you so, so very much. Have a blessed and a wonderful and a glorious evening, morning and afternoon. Love you all. Amen.